Hi, it's Staff here from the TAB. Looking forward to just yet another week of fantastic rugby. It just seems to keep rolling it out, doesn't it? Last week, I guess the big news, along with the All Blacks uh, World Cup squad being named, it was the loss over there in Africa. I'm not too concerned about that, and I don't think many people are, because we were without so many key components. Uh, Kieran Reid, Richie McCord, Dan Carter, just to name three. Well, they're all back on board in Brisbane to take on the Wallabies in the Investec Tri-Nations decider. I can't see anything but an All Blacks win here. The punters love the All Blacks as well. They are backing them hard. Uh, under a, a dollar fifty, they are, even though they're away from home. So the All Blacks for me in this one, 12 and under, because the Wallabies still will offer plenty. But I just can't see the All Blacks allowing themselves to go into the World Cup on the back of two losses and giving South Africa a win and Australia a win. All Blacks 12 and under, all the way. North Harbour take on Wellington. Wellington have been a little bit hot and cold, but not as hot and cold as North Harbour have, no. So I'm going to side with Wellington here, just on the fact that they're starting to show glimpses of what they're capable of. Players like Brad Shields, uh, Alapati Lauia, these young guys, Jason Woodward, they're just starting to find their feet in, in the uh, higher levels of rugby. So Wellington 12 and under for me in North Harbour who will score tries and probably another one to ex-Wellingtonian Matt Luamanu as well, but still not enough to keep the black and golds away from the win column. Waikato against Auckland is always an interesting clash. Uh, very nice little local derby this one. Lots of fans seem to traverse that hour and a half between grounds. I like the way Auckland are travelling. Same sort of uh, reason, I think, for Wellington. I think some of their young guys like Gareth Anscombe. Dave Thomas last week, who hasn't played much rugby this year, for Auckland, I thought he was player of the match. Moala on the wings, incredibly fast. I think on the flanks, they might have a bit too much for Waikato. So Waikato will charge up the middle. Auckland will go wide, and I think they might just sneak home. Auckland by 12 and under there, even though they're away. Otago against Canterbury under the roof. Hard to know what to make of this one. I think Canterbury will win this one by 13 and over. Uh, 13 and over. But do remember, it's indoors. And you know what that means. And the last one, Taranaki against Hawke's Bay. A fantastic shield challenge. Now, Hawke's Bay fans, you are ones to gloat. And I know this because uh, I get text messages, Facebook messages, emails from all of you. Not only did you just get pumped by Northland uh, up there in Whangarei, then Taranaki won the Shield. I straight away got messages saying the Shield's coming home to the Bay. If you think you can go to New Plymouth and beat Taranaki in a Shield game after losing to the Tanifa in Whangarei, tell them you're dreaming.